Hey, I'm Anna. Uh, my kids are 11, 8, and 9 months as of April 2022. So I wanted to share today what my favorite things were with baby from 0 to 4 months. And that's kind of a rough timeline, you know, some things are used from birth and some things last way longer than four months, but if you are preparing for a baby, then maybe the first few months, uh, you might like some of these things too. I did a lot of research, I watched a lot of YouTube reviews, and I tried a lot of different products, and these ones were the ones that I personally found the most useful. I wanted to pass those recommendations along to you. I could do a whole video just about newborn clothing, but I will tell you that the items that I found most essential were a footless romper. A lot of people like the footed PJs, but two out of three of my kids had big feet and they, their toes get scrunched long before the rest of the suit stops fitting so I prefer the ones without feet they last for months longer I mean you can you can add socks and and really a lot of the time it's nice to have the baby's feet unsocked it's nice to have the baby in bare feet because they get a lot of sensory input Swaddles or sleep sacks are going to depend a lot on the preference of your baby my baby was not an amazing sleeper and we tried a lot of different sleep suits and swaddling situations to see if there was some kind of magic bullet in there. So my baby slept best, I thought, in the Swaddle Me pod. Next up, hygiene. And this is by far the biggest category for newborns. Because, I mean, what are you doing but feeding and diapering and bathing and things for the self-care of the birther? So, it's kind of a general term. For disposable diapers, if you cloth diaper, gold star to you, not for me, sis. So, I wanted a diaper pail and the Ubi diaper pail is really popular right now and I think it's great. I brought a few things to show you if I still had them around. So this is the Stoke Flexi Bath Newborn Support and this was actually gifted to me by a friend who was moving and so I didn't know that this actually is like the insert to kind of a, a box shaped bath that you can you kind of put this on the edge and it sits in it. That's not how I used it. I really liked this because we have really small, a really small sink and a really big deep sink. So in our main bathroom, I wanted to use this small sink for bathing and I looked at different pooch, um, options and none of them were really the right dimensions for it and I did not have space in my small bathroom to keep in, like an infant tub. I didn't want to have something constantly in the way in our main shower. So this was awesome because it just fit like right between my vanity and the wall in a little nook. Um, it dries really fast. It's just hard plastic. Uh, some of the reviews we're questioning the comfort for baby. My baby loved it. So you might get this if you deliver in a hospital. I actually had already ordered mine from Amazon and then I got more and I love these. Especially for newborn bathing. You know, I just would put warm water, maybe like a pump of the cleanser here and it was a great way to get up like under their chin. This side is the real MVP because nothing is better for preventing cradle cap. It's just, it feels super soft, but the bristles 
they just get oil excess skin from building up into plaque on the scalp. So definitely use this every single time that I bathe my newborn. For nail clipping, I don't want to use an electric file on my baby's nails. Those baby manicure sets, they freak me out. <laughs> Have you used them? I like a classic nail scissor. So they are rounded tip and they're not like super sharp. I feel like these scissors too could be used if you are right-handed or left-handed. This is a manual breast pump. I didn't actually even get an electric pump this time because I just don't enjoy, I just don't enjoy pumping. Um, so this manual breast pump was enough for me. It was great for when I had um, excess supply. My lactation consultant actually taught me how to use it, turning this on to create the suction on the breast and then you can manually pump it here. Mostly I used it by just kind of attaching it on and while I was feeding on one side and it would catch the let down often like half an ounce and I would just kind of collect that until I had enough to practice bottle feeding and then the extra that I I had I actually just used to like do like a little baby facial <laughs> I just rubbed it on her face at bath time so this is super easy to clean because it's all one piece silicone that can go in the dishwasher and be sanitized I absolutely cannot recommend the Earth Mama nipple butter this was so soothing it it just ugh, it felt so good slathered it on at least once a day but during those really rough adjustment periods trying to figure out the latch it was basically after every feeding I would apply it um, but I've used it even after I stopped breastfeeding um, just like on chapped hands or something because or I've even actually used it as a as a lip balm. And for that postpartum fourth trimester time, treat yourself to a nice robe. I wanted something pretty that kind of almost felt like I was wearing a dress, but that was super soft and easy to access for breastfeeding, for skin to skin time, so. And then my favorite classic burp cloth pack is to just use the Gerber prefold diapers. They're inexpensive, they're super soft and absorbent, and they're just the right size for throwing over the shoulders. Okay, for safety. Saying is for safety is a stretch. It's really just kind of for convenience. In order to see what the temperature was in my super old house that heats unevenly, the bedroom was often really hot or would vary by temperature by like 10 degrees in the same day even. So since baby was sleeping in my room, I liked to just see what the temperature actually was in there instead of based off of how hot I was, you know, if I was wearing a robe or not, if I had been going up and down the stairs. Just, I kept, I keep it on my bedside. It has a little stand that I just kind of laid it flat so that I wouldn't knock it over at night. It tells you the humidity and the temperature of the room. So, my first two kids were babies in really small apartments or houses and I just felt like I could hear them from anywhere. And so this time we were gifted this monitor and it's been great because anytime that baby was asleep and we were on another level. Anytime baby, Mika said is If I'm downstairs, I like being able to see what's going on at nap time. And this has a great picture. You can move the camera, you know, if it gets bumped or something. And you can speak through to it. Go to sleep. And they can hear it on the other end. So, I've been really happy with the infant optics monitor. 
The car seat and stroller that we chose, I mean, I, I looked for hours and hours making comparisons. I was in super nesting mode, so if you're like that too, you'll probably pick out on your own. But I ended up liking this one because any car seat is safe. They go through rigorous testing and you know there's a lot of marketing around baby products saying that something is the safest but the differences I think in my opinion are gonna end up being pretty marginal so I tend to look for a mid price point a good quality something that is really easy to clean something that is you know in a car seat I want it to be lightweight if I'm doing the infant carrier taking it in and out of the car or holding it on my arm to lug it for a while those were the features that were important to me. I looked at a few other features too, like if the sunshade came down really far and how easy it was to move the handle back. And so I decided on the Graco Modes Nest Travel System. And I waited for my registry coupon from Target to get it 20% off. And I've been really happy with it. I will say the stroller could use an an upgraded cup holder system and I did have to get an attachment like a bag to kind of hang off of the back of it because there isn't anywhere to really like put your phone or your water that's like up high on the handlebar the basket is huge but you know those things that I wanted accessible there's weirdly nothing for that okay play so hot take I don't think a newborn really needs any kind of toys. I don't even think that they need the beautiful mobile or the lovely contrast cards that you can get. If you get those, great. Then no shade. They are beautiful. But we had a black and white wall hanging that was baby's absolute favorite thing to stare at. Um, and that served the same purpose as any contrast card. It was very stimulating and interesting, but just for fun, she was gifted a couple of lovies, and these are really nice. You know, you can like pretend they like snuggling it, but as they get older, they're nice to chew on to. I find that the tag is actually the most favorite part, the silky tag, but some of them have like all over silky material or things like this that end up being really nice to chew on. And this one was a rattle too. So those are great for newborns. And then as a, is that going to be that? And as kind of a first toy, the O-ball, getting a live demonstration here, is really easy to grasp but before they get really good at grasping and it's it's kind of like squishy and it's really lightweight a lot of baby toys like even rattles are kind of heavy for a newborn to hold even when they are kind of holding on to it, it, it it's a little heavy for them so I like this one because it's it's so lightweight and they feel like they can move it around and then as we get older, this, this just like continues to be a fun toy. Even at nine months, now it can start to like really be rolled back and forth, um, playing with it, and so it keeps getting used. Now my baby did not want to be put down. <laughs> she was a snuggler. <laughs> So the only place that I was able to successfully get her to nap during the day um, or be out of arms for even a minute was a Snuggle Me and I bought mine used. There's really no reason not to. This is without the cover. I actually didn't even end up buying a cover because she has so many blankets I just would throw a baby blanket over it to protect it from spit up to make it easy to to keep clean but this kind of gave her the 
the sense of, of being snuggled here. So that did get a little bit of use, but the use was much appreciated. <laughs> Everything I showed you is linked below. Please hit subscribe so we can keep sharing recommendations with each other. Hey hey!